Welcome to the Fox One Corp series of CU training videos. I'm Dave Springford, your host for these training videos, and Fox One Corp is an authorized Navitor reseller and can also supply most of your glider related equipment needs. Check out my website, as you can see on the screen, at www.foxonecorp.com for all the manufacturers I represent, as well as the products that I can provide. My website URL is also posted in the video comments section below. And please subscribe to this YouTube channel if you have any questions. Please post them in the comments below. In this first video, what I want to show you is how to download and install the CU desktop software on your PC for the first time. CU is a native Windows application. That will be the focus of this video. There's also a web browser-based version of CU that runs on Android, Linux, or iOS platforms that will be discussed in future videos. To download the CU software, first we go to the Navitor website, so that's navitor.com. And we navigate to the gliding section and select the CU menu item. Once there, we can scroll past the picture and hit the download link for the free trial. We'll save the setup file. CU software is a uh, purchased on a subscription basis, but you can also download a free 30 day trial to install it on your PC. What we'll do today is we'll just simply download the free trial. And what you'll find is after 30 days, various functions of the software stop working uh, on a random basis. In the next video, I'll show you how to set up a CU cloud account and how to purchase an annual subscription for the CU software. And of course, you can purchase that from me at Fox One Corp. Now that we've downloaded, we're going to go up here to our download section and we want this uh, Windows CU setup.exe file. I'm using Firefox, so my downloads are up in the top right here. If you're using Chrome, your downloads will appear down in the bottom left. So for now, we'll just double click on this. And the Windows operating system will ask us if we want to allow CU to make these changes. We have to accept the license agreement and select next. And then just install in the default location by hitting next. It's usually helpful to select all the options. The most important option to select here is the help documents and the sample flights, while they're not critical, are worth opening as well. So we'll just leave everything default, keep hitting next, and then we'll select create a desktop icon so that we can have CU on our desktop. And finally, install. Now that it's installed, we'll uh, leave this run program option selected and we'll finish and the CU software will start automatically. So there's CU and what we can see is because we have uh, done this without a license, it comes up with a requirement to accept the license agreement. So we'll accept that again. And so what we can see now is we have CU and we'll just make this full screen. So we have the default version of CU set up with our map and flight window, as well as any images that were taken during the flight that can be geotagged to various images along the flight track. We also have our instrument display. This is the default system that is used when you first install, and we'll talk in later videos about how to change that. So what you can see is that the installation is fairly straightforward on this. It's a simple matter of going to Navitor.com, going into the gliding section and selecting the download of the free trial for CU software, and then following all the Windows prompts to get it installed. In the next video, what we're going to do is take a look at how to set up CU and how to tweak it to your preferences. We'll look at the different options that we can select to lay out the screen and uh, set up the parameters as we'd like to see them. So thanks for watching this video and stay tuned for the next one where we'll go through more details about how to set up CU.